This is one of the least talked about LEGO Star Wars The Clone Wars sets ever produced. But does it deserve it? Let's find out. Hello everybody, it's your residential brickologist Lego Lee here with another throwback LEGO Star Wars The Clone Wars set review. Today we're going back to the winter of 2010 to look at set number 8085, Freako Speeder. This set used to retail for about $25 here in the US, adjusted for inflation here in 2023 that's closer to $35. It contains 177 pieces and here is a front look at your box. From the back of the box you can see some ads for other sets from this wave of Star Wars and of course demonstrations of the various play features this set has to offer. This set includes one instruction manual with 50 pages of building and at the back there are of course ads for the rest of the sets from this wave. I have everything pictured here besides the ARC-170 Starfighter, which I 100% regret not buying because it's worth a fortune now and LEGO hasn't remade that set since. As is par for the course for LEGO Star Wars sets, this only has minifigures and one main build. Let's look at those figures here first. The first minifigure included with this set here is Anakin Skywalker, a character that of course came in a lot of Star Wars The Clone Wars sets, but this particular version is 100% exclusive to this set and this set alone because of this really cool snow suit with an awesome printed parka piece that I love. The Jedi logo there, what a brilliant touch. Underneath that, good torso print. The face print looks pretty similar. Not a huge fan still of that weird cartoony Clone Wars style for the eyes. However, the double-sided face has the goggles and bandages on it and it looks so good. This might be the best Clone Wars Anakin figure they've ever made. I love it. The one other figure included with this set here is Thai Sin, a chieftain of a Tals tribe on the planet of Orto Plutonia. And this is the only Tals figure Lego has ever made and he looks phenomenal. This figure functions a lot like Chewbacca, completely blank body with a piece that goes over the entire torso with a head molded in. And the molding here is so good. Look at the shell from the back and his mohawk. All of that looks great, but his face looks great as well, and the paint applications really work for me. This figure is spectacular, and the great thing is, he's only worth about $6, and the Anakin figure is only worth about 4 bucks. so it's not hard to acquire two really good figures from this set. Shifting gears, we can look at the CK6 swoop bike itself, otherwise known as the Freako Speeder. This is the only appearance of this vehicle in LEGO form, which isn't surprising because this vehicle only appears in one single episode of Star Wars The Clone Wars, Season 1, Episode 15, Trespass. That's it. Yeah, it appears in some comics and random books and stuff, but for actual content in video form, it's just the one episode, y'all. Because of that, there's literally nothing iconic about this vehicle. But LEGO did a pretty bang up job replicating the source material, especially for a set that's now 13 years old. The nose of the vehicle here has some pretty decent techniques and the stickers go a long way in adding detail to this speeder. I also like the headlights and the snow pick pieces being used on the side are really great and look very accurate to the show. As we move along down the side, you can see some gappiness here to add some greeble details. It works out okay if you ask me. And then we reach the cockpit of this speeder, which in my opinion is the worst part about this set. There are two significant issues here. The first one is this should have been clear, not the transparent brown color. That's just completely wrong. The second one is the cockpit definitely covers up everything down here in the show. It's like one big bubble. Now, LEGO did the best they could with the existing pieces at the time. It definitely would have required a new mold for them to create, but instead they just leave a massive gap right here, which feels completely 
completely off. However, what this cockpit lacks in accuracy, it makes up for somewhat in playability. You can easily lift this open on a nice hinge design. I like the look of the chair inside here. And of course, it's very easy to put your Anakin Skywalker figure piloting the speeder inside there. That all works out really well. Additionally, the same cockpit piece is used right behind it to give it kind of a continuous and very nice shape, and I love getting that part in opaque white. I think that is very cool. It also can be popped off to reveal the interior here with a storage crate that can actually house an extra pair of binoculars. That is really nice, and there's plenty of room in there as well to fit Anakin Skywalker's lightsabers, so I think this is really solid. Another solid design the engines. These are shaped up nicely, have good sticker detail, however, the hammer piece, which is cleverly used to hold the back of the engine in place, seems a bit distracting to me. I think just using a normal rod would have worked better. Finally, this vehicle makes very good use of the classic Lego ski piece on the bottom, which is both functional and accurate to the Clone Wars show. So, is this set as pointless as some Lego Star Wars fans make it out to be? I say no. I actually think this is a decent representation of this vehicle from the show. That being said, it's a pretty forgettable vehicle from a pretty mediocre episode of one of the worst seasons of the show. So I understand why some people would write this set off. But for me personally, a relatively jaded LEGO Star Wars collector who's getting pretty sick of TIE Fighters and X-Wings, I like collecting as many different Star Wars vehicles as I possibly can in LEGO form. And this vehicle is 100% unique to this set and this set alone, which is a big win in my opinion. And honestly, if they had cleaned up that cockpit design, this set would be near perfect Besides the price, I think $25 for only 177 pieces is about $5 overpriced. And of course, that does not favor comparably when adjusted for inflation. However, a more fair comparison might be looking at this vehicle next to a $35 set from 2023. Here it is next to Yoda Jedi Starfighter, and it's actually a good bit bigger than that set, despite having about 80 fewer pieces. So that's a more favorable comparison for the Freako Speeder right here. And one of the best parts, this set hasn't really gone up in value all that much. You can get it sealed for about $45, only $10 more than the adjusted for inflation retail price. And if you're willing to get this set used, you can literally get it for less than its original retail price, around 19 bucks. So if you want this set, definitely go out and buy it on aftermarket. It will be worth it. So yeah, the Freako Speeders are pretty good little set. Sue me, I kinda like this one. It's not amazing, it definitely has its flaws, but I think it's fairly well done, which is why I'm gonna give this set here a seven out of 10. Those are just my thoughts though. I'd love to hear yours in the comment section down below. Also, while you're at it, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, turn that little notification bell on to get updates on all my more recent uploads. Have a great rest of your day, week, month, whatever it is for you. Peace out, God bless, Bye bye